Okay, welcome back to the uh, blog tutorial. Um, in this video, I'm going to hopefully define the functions, code the functions in the comments backend file, and make the blog list page. Possibly the others. Uh, I guess we'll see how far we get. Um, these functions aren't too complicated. Um, the get posts function is by far the most complicated function uh, in this tutorial, at least in this series, whatever. Um, get comments is quite simple. It's just a single select and date format. Um, right, so let's get started. First thing, as usual, we're going to do is cast the um, uh, post ID to an integer, like so, um, and then define this SQL variable. Um, which is going to have the SQL in it, which is select the things we want, comment body as body, comment user, or to user as user, and then we're going to format the date in the format we used previously, using the date format function again. <coughs> PHP syntax there. Um, so we're going to give that the comment date. Oh, what is that? Com comment, yeah. Comment date. And then the format is going to be the one that we always use, or I always use, which is day slash month slash full year and then 24 hour hour um, minutes and seconds I'm just going to give that the alias of date for simplicity um, we're going to be selecting that from the comments table um, where the post ID UD ID UID each is equal to the PID variable that we got from the function, which if you remember was passed through, um, where was it? Pass, yeah, passed through from here. So we call the f we call this get post get post function. We p give it a PID post ID. It does a query, gets the post, passes that post ID onto the get comments function, which we're coding now, which uses it to identify the post. Oops. Um, so that's fairly straightforward really. Um, what we want to do now is just actually perform this query. So we're going to get the query result and put it in this comments variable. MySQL query SQL. Oops. And then um, we, um, well, we've got to define a array because we're going to return an array of comments. Um, well, we've used comments already, so I'm just going to call this return. Um, you can call it whatever you like. You can call anything whatever you like, really. Um, ideally, I suppose I should have used this as result and this as comments, but never mind. And then we are going to loop over the result. Again, defining row for each row. A sock. Comments not equal to false do something which is to return row so whoops equal to row so for each row we are adding the full result of mysql fetch a sock um, into this return variable which is an array of comments which we then return not double dollar sign um, so yeah that's fairly straightforward compared to the other function we defined anyway it's fairly standard okay so this next function that adds a comment the first thing we're going to do is check if the post ID that's specified is valid because we don't want people to be able to insert comments for posts that don't actually exist so we are going to first do a check if valid PID is equal no it, yeah give it the post ID is equal to false return 
false to indicate that this function has failed. We're not going to say why in any way, we're just going to return false. Um, we could display like a generic error message. Sorry, your comment could not be added. Whatever you like to do. Um, so once we get here, because return sort of cancels the rest of the function, not, um, it'll st it's like sort of like die for PHP sort of raw files. Um, after you've returned a value, none of the following code is processed because it just doesn't need to be, because you've already done. That's what the return means. Um, okay, so um, what we're going to do here is cast the PID to an integer again, as we always do. And then we are going to define um, some similar variables to we did when adding a comment. Um, these are going to be the user, MySQL, real escape string, HTML entities, entities, good, of user. I'm just going to quickly copy this, paste it there, and this is going to be body because we want to do this exact same thing to body. And again, we want to apply the nl2br function there. N new line to line break conversion. I'm just going to tab these across, neatly line them up. Something I've started doing more recently actually is lining these signs up. Um, so yeah, once we've got to this point, we know that the data is secured, safe. Um, prevented SQL injection and XSS attacks. So then we just need to insert the data. Let's go query. Insert insert E into comments. Again, this is a very similar um, thing to the previous um, previous insert, the add post function. Um, we're going to be adding the post ID, the comment user, comment user, yeah, that's right, um, the comment body, and the comment date. Um, similar, similarly, similarly, <laughs> sorry, can't say that very well. Um, values. We're going to be adding a um, integer to this first one. And then two strings, and then the now function, for the same reason that I explained before. So this integer is going to be the post ID, which we have in the PID variable. Um, this is going to be the user, which we have in the user variable, and this is going to be the body, which we have in the body variable. Um, and once we've done that, we're just going to return true, because um, by default, a function returns null if you don't specify a value to return. So, as we're returning false, um, for if the function fails, we want to return true, just assuming that it's succeeded. We don't actually check anything, but it's better than it's better than assuming that it has failed, which is sort of what return null would mean, um, because null is sort of negative, I suppose. <laughs> It's not negative, it's sort of zero. Um, but yeah, we're just going to return true to assume that the query has succeeded. And just to indicate that the uh, function hasn't failed. That we know of anyway. Okay, so that is it for the comments.inc.php file. Um, we can just check the syntax again by reloading this page. You see we have no errors, which is super. Um, I in that case it looks like we are ready to move on to the blog list file um, which is just going to be a list of the posts uh, I demoed it originally so let's go and check that out um, at the moment I have just this include here so what we're going to do is code the bit in this PHP block um, and the first thing we're going to need to do here is get the posts which is done using the get posts function you see now this uh, highlights the, um, like the pro points, if you like, of this uh, using functions, separating your logic from your content. Because imagine if uh, we had all of this code, this whole chunk. Oh no, not up there. This whole get posts function. Actually, I can just scroll down. This bit that you can see mostly on the screen here. Imagine if we had all of that code. Uh, in this blog list file here, in on this line, 
it'd be uh, it'd be much more difficult to maintain because if you wanted to change a column name or the table name, you'd have to edit this file instead of ed editing the file where you know all the back end stuff is. It's just nice to keep it all organized. Uh, so yeah, this is going to return an array. So if I just quickly do a print underscore r of this posts variable, and just reload the page. See, we get an empty array. I haven't actually made any posts. If I go to the posts table, just re-log into phpMyAdmin. If I just insert some sort of dummy data, um, post title be can be a test post, and the body can be I am a test post. Um, my username can just be me, and the date can be equal to the now function. Just hit go to insert a test data. If I just hit refresh. Uh, I'll just reload this page, not reload this page, view the source of this page because it shows you the array in nice format, sort of plain text format. Here, uh, line breaks are ignored in HTML, so that's why you get it nicer in, view in the view source window. Um, you see, we get an array uh, of comments. We've only got one comment, so the array has one entry, and that entry is an array itself, which has the ID, which we can use to link to the blog read page later on. It gets the title, the preview, which is sort of the short. Well, uh, it's less than the limit we sub, uh, we specified, but if it, this was a long piece of text, then this would be cut off. Uh, it specifies the name I entered, the time, uh, the number of comments, and the fact that there have never been any comments. So now we're just going to quickly format this into sort of a nicer format because we don't want to just print out raw array data. So we're going to use a for each loop for each posts as post and inside this loop we're going to have some HTML so I'm going to close and reopen the PHP block um, we're going to use a h2 tag to display the header Not the header the title which is just going to be PHP echo post title uh, okay and on the next line we're going to use a h4 to display some information about the post which is going to be um, by and then the username HP echo post user and then on sorry MySQL getting into my head there um, another PHP variable which is going to be the date echo date no echo post date like so um, and then on another line, again in a H4 tag, we're just going to display some information on the comments. Um, so we're going to show in brackets the, num uh, the number of comments and the last comment date. So we are going to use a PHP variable again here. Echo post total comments. Comments. So it'll, s it'll display zero comments. And then I'm going to use just a comma and say last comment was posted on, but that was too long. So um, echo post last comment like so, like so. Um, and then we're just going to use a horizontal rule, so a line across the screen to separate the body, and then in a single paragraph tag. We are going to echo another PHP variable, which is post body, like so. So that is pretty much it for this um, video. We have successfully finished this um, page. There will be a slight modification to it when I get to the blog read page, but that will have to wait for the next video. If I just quickly reload this, oh, I spelled something wrong. What have I spelled wrong? Oh, it was preview, not body. Sorry about that. Preview. Because this is only the... Um, there we go, now we get the actual data. See there are no comments. Last comment was never. Tells you who it's by and when it was. Um, if I just quickly add a dummy comment to this. Post ID was 1. Comment body was... I am a test comment. User was Bob. Date was now. Hit go back to our page and hit refresh, you see we get one comment and the date it was posted. 
Um, what we're going to do in the next video is link this and do the blog view page. Okay, thanks for watching.